Hi, welcome to Tiefly Designs. This is my third edition of what's in my craft room and today I'm going to share my papers. And we all know we are hoarders of papers and paper pads and cardstock and I'm one of them. Guilty as charged. So I decided this should be my next edition to share. So I hope you guys enjoy. Then I'm as always, at the end of the video, there's a giveaway. So, here we go. At the far um, corner of my room, you can see this tall storage area. And these plastic containers I actually ordered from Walmart. And they go all the way to the ceiling. And I have them labeled. And these house some of my favorite paper pads. Most of them are 12 by 12. For example, this one is all Can Company. And I used to be so in love with Can Company papers. Um, now I'm not too fond of it, but I have some of the old stuff that I'm hoarding. And I love them. This one is one of my favorite paper pads. Um, it's the Lemon Flower Stack. Love it. And then we have different ones. Cotton Bloom. Nana's Kitchen. This one's one of my favorite pads also. And just a little flip through. I have some of my favorite colors. Sorry for the shaking. I am actually doing it um, without my tripod, so it's a lot of shaking. I'm sorry. Then here I just have a couple um, six by six, but these four drawers here houses my six by six pads and paper. Don't have a lot of six by six, but I'm starting to like them a lot. So these um, are six by six cardstock. These are some 6x6 papers that I have had for years. And I think I actually purchased them on QVC when they... QVC used to have, you know, craft shows and stuff. And they're some of my favorite papers anyway. These two big drawers house the ones that I love, 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 love. And I've had them, again, for years. Once in a while I use a little piece of it. <laughs> That's what you call a hoarder. You have stuff that you don't want to use and you just keep them there. I have to start to use my papers. So those were some pretty ones. I'm not even sure what company it is from. One of my favorites also. And this is some, also some can company. But these are some of my favorite favorite because they are colored vellum papers. And they're so pretty. This is one of my favorite favorite here so gorgeous it's vellum actually see true but it's embossed and colored isn't that pretty that's why i'm holding them <laughs> ah. and you can't find this paper anywhere anymore so okay i gotta watch it and watch what i use and you saw that pretty one a while ago embossed and so gorgeous this one also had for years and they also vellum so pretty these are also some of my pretty ones that I'm hoarding but I hope to put a couple of those in my giveaway so we'll see this these are from Annie Griffith I love her papers also of flowers and those kind of things also Annie Griffith And Griffith. And on this side, again, I have some of my favorite paper pads that I have space, don't have space for. And then these papers also had for years. I have a problem, I know. I have a problem. And these also some of my favorite. Pretty, pretty. 
nice. I don't even know what the companies are, but this one, see, I got one little corner from this one. This is actually, it's like cardboard. It has texture and it's um, shimmers. Love that one. Then these are some metallic um, frames that you can cut out. Oh, paper, 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 paper. Oh, paper. Pretty. That you can always use as an overlay on paper, so because it's actually plastic. These two piles I have these four sections in my IKEA Expedit. It's also full of paper. These two pads I'm winning. I have them on the side. I'm making a book for someone I know. And as usual, I keep up a Ziploc bag for my scraps in each section. And these are my 8x8 papers in this first cube. Here I have some 8x12, 8.5x12 papers. In the bottom two boxes I got from Target and I keep more 12 by 12 paper. Crafty sacks, that's one of my favorites also. These. I love this one. Then this is like my most favorite holiday pad ever. And you can't find it anywhere anymore. But I've, as you can see I have a couple of <laughs> pads. I went online to search and the store, the website I found it at only had six in stock, so I bought six. And that's gonna be one in my giveaway. And this other side, I have plain paper by color divided by colors. In this little section in my Michaels unit, I have these. Designer papers that come in these boxes, and they have such pretty papers in them. This is also one of the stacks I'm going to give away. So I have five of them here, and then the top one is a different design. On one of my desk, I have my cardstock that I have um, stored in boxes, but I stand the boxes upright and I keep my paper like this so I can just easily pull them out. And they're actually in page protectors. In this um, storage unit, I actually saw my Martha Stewart pad. Then in a basket in my closet, I have cardstock that um, I haven't been opened yet. And then this last one houses some of my pads. My Halloween paper pads are just sitting on my desk. Because I'm actually using them for my series right now. And now it's giveaway time. And this is what I'm giving away. First, I'm giving away one of um, the boxes of my designer papers. And I already flipped through it, but... They're very pretty. And it has so much paper in it. It comes in this pretty box. Then this paper pad also. Nice. That's from Colorbox. And then from King Company. This pad. And then last, and one that I love, is this holiday pad. It's called Wonderful Winter. And the papers are so scrumptious. Most of them, or maybe all of them, has some kind of embossing or glitter. Or, or love this snowman. You can actually cut them out individually and make cards. Um, so you get these four paper pads and maybe I'll join some of the ones I'm holding. Who knows? For the giveaway, since I love to watch, um, storage videos and craft room videos, 
I want you guys to do a video response sharing your favorite collection so I can see who else is order first you have to be a subby and again I'm sorry to my subbies international subbies um, but I'm sorry guys can join this one um, but thank you guys for supporting and Lydia I'm sorry um, so I need your video response by the 18th of October and I will announce the winner on the 19th so we have a whole month and I'm so excited to see what you guys have to share your video response is gonna get you five entries to the giveaway and again thank you guys for watching sharing and supporting my videos I so appreciate it and again happy crafting bye